Hey everyone, Sirik here, and I just have a quick message before the video proper begins. This is Applejack, specifically Applejack 1. It's one of the four games in this video. You can see where they begin in the video in the timestamps, in the description, as well as links to their Steam pages. And I just want to go into the credits section of the options real fast, because some of the music in this game is by Josh Woodward, specifically the instrumental versions of I'm Laying Go, of Dark Rooms and Crooked Candles, Franny, Shadows in the Moonlight, and I'll Be Right Behind You, Josephine. Here's the rest of the credits, for that matter, of um, stuff used in this game. Most of it is from freesound.org by the looks of it. And that's everything, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Hey everyone, this is Eric here. And this is my first gaming grab bag stream, where I'm doing three, uh, four random Steam Summer Sale games I've purchased. I've already picked out the order in advance with a random list generator. Um, the very first one that I got was Applejack 1 and 2. Um, so one thing I'm noticing about Applejack already is, um... It seems to pick up my key inputs even when I don't have the window in focus. So for example, when I was clicking on the start stream button, it also clicked on new game in the game itself, which is pretty interesting. So let me just click Av here. Also clicking your window, um, like just clicking anywhere also counts as a button press, which is really annoying when I'm trying to, um, put my chat in focus, but I'm going to exit to the main menu so everyone can see the menu. Um, I haven't played any of these games before, other than to make sure that OBS can capture them. So I don't know what's going on with any of them. They might be good, they might be bad. Don't know. Um, so it's a bit of an adventure. Yeah, we're going to start a new game. Let's start this for real now. Oh, we didn't have music before, now we do. Okay. So, okay, that that's apparently the entire story. Sounds fun. So, this is Applejack 1 and 2. I do know that this these games were fairly well regarded on Xbox Live Indie Games, which is not Xbox Arcade, that's Xbox Indie Games, the other one. Um, which admittedly had a really low standard. Um, that being said, I have heard that this is pretty solid all the same. And the trailer actually looked pretty good. I'll probably just be sticking with Applejack 1 because I heard Applejack 2 is basically the same thing, but more levels and probably more polished in that regard. Um, so, may as well just stick with one of the two. Okay, so I can also roll by holding that down. Good to know. And I can pan the camera. Okay. What do we got over here? Mm -hmm. This is some very Mario 2 stuff going on right now. Like, extremely so. Which is not a bad thing. Oh, I actually missed some coins. So, since it's a tutorial, I'm kind of curious what happens if I... Oh, I can't roll while I'm carrying a panda. Good to know. Oh, we grabbed the coins. I guess that this victory just sticks around for a little bit. Um, earlier when I was trying to set this up, the game did crash. And it said something like, and the name of the application is apparently like, my first game demo or something. So I guess someone, I guess maker of this kind of start doing their practice game and it just evolved into this. And I kind of like how this whole thing looks. Okay, so touching it from the bomb is just death good to know. So, oh, I guess I just pick this up and throw this into the other spiky thing. 
Okay. Aim mode. What? Why did... Okay. Oh. Well, that's certainly handy. Can't quite get that one coin. Oh, well. Oh, it's the... I see it's a combo multiplier. You didn't notice the little, um, green circle ticking down there. These are washing machines. Good. Not sure if I can really get to him. I guess I need to kill him with the washing machine. And so... Like that. Okay. Oh. That's odd. Got a checkpoint, but there wasn't any, like, visual indicator of a checkpoint. Oh. Didn't quite get the combo there. That's okay. So, controls seem actually surprisingly solid so far, other than the weird stuff with the game constantly picking up inputs even when it's not in focus. Otherwise, yeah, like, feels like a pretty solid platformer. And let's see, I don't think I have a way of getting those coins, so they're just disappearing into the abyss once more. The washing machines are just abandoning me. And presumably I need to kill all of them. Right? Or I guess that they'll just fall off and kill themselves at this rate? Oh, right. Looping levels. That's what the one level was teaching me. I, want, I guess all the levels loop? Thought that was just maybe a gimmick in that one area, but it looks like, um... Every level in this game might loop, judging by what I've seen so far. Okay, let's get this. Man, that multiplier is kind of really starting to add up a bit. Uh huh. That's pretty satisfying. I could use with some maybe slightly more energetic music. Oh. Lost my multiplier. Oh well. How many more of these are there? I thought that was the last set. Okay. That one should be coming down around here? Yeah. And... Where is the matching one? There you are. That should be the last of it. Okay. Hello there. So, yeah. Let's see. Level 5, or 1-5. I don't ready. know if this game has bosses or anything. This is still kind of the tutorial. Multicolored. Okay. Okay, so multi ones of different colors can't hurt each other. That's the lesson here. I wonder if this game has a colorblind mode. Because that's kind of an issue if it doesn't. Well, it's also a kind of rather old indie game at this point. Just new to PC. I feel like standards were significantly lower a few years ago for that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, we have... Green? Here's the green. Okay, managed to get that multiplier. Can I get the last one? It's got kind of hug left. And there we go. Not really sure if there's anything I can do with all these coins. I mean, I have quite a few at this point. Okay, so that red one's blocking me. So I need to get the red one up here. I guess that's one way of making it so you um, need to put a bit more effort into making progress than just grab the nearest enemy. No, oh, I'm not getting that. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. I'm a bit scared of the fact that checkpoints seem to just happen and don't seem to have a clear indicator. And I died literally just as I said that. Cool. Okay, no checkpoints. And last time I got a checkpoint, there was a sound. So if I do that, I think if I do it this way, I can probably keep my multiplier going. Like, bring this one down. Uh, the positioning on this is not ideal, though. Nope, that's what I wanted to do, but... Kinda couldn't get down in time without just killing myself on those. So let's try this again. Let's see, I've been playing for around 13 minutes, so... A little bit over 15 more minutes before we move on to the next game for tonight's stream. I'll need to double check my um, list to see what the next one was on the um, randomly generated list I have. Oops, that's not great. Uh, crap. Oh, right, I can aim it. I do remember about aim mode. I completely forgot about it. Even though it kind of had multiple tutorials on it. Oh, okay, that's just arbitrarily a checkpoint now. The thing is that the checkpoint light bulbs look just like all of the um, other light bulbs. I guess I need to do... Yeah, I need to use you to get up here, I think. Or no, I guess I was supposed to hop as a little apple. Hmm... Is this just gonna kill me? Or no? Okay, this is a bit of a puzzle now. So I think... Let's see, yeah, they said that I need to get up there to use as a stepping stone, so... I put this here, and then I can get the other pan the um, blue panda. Alright, need to actually get the panda. There we go. Kill that one. Uh, let's see. And then I just need to go here and throw that panda up into it because you do need to kill every enemy. There we go. I just roll down. Okay. Yeah, so far this is a solid little platformer. Um, oh, was I supposed to stack these? Wait, how would you stack them without just killing them? Oh, wait, no, I can wall jump. What am I saying? Or... Oh, no. I, was I supposed to use those to wall jump? Maybe? To get a little bit extra boost? I should be able to do it from here. I'm still kind of getting a feel for just how high I can actually jump. Trying to do a triangle jump here. Man, that wall jump is not impressive. At this rate, I think I just need to smash my head into a panda. Because, yeah, I was supposed to jump off of those and then come back. Can I not... Oh, okay. Restart from checkpoint. Good. Oh, I was grabbing that while I was at the checkpoint, I guess. You go over here. Except not quite. Okay. Let's... Let's restart from checkpoint. Go. You go here. Now I bring this up. Don't kill that panda. This is awfully involved for a kind of rather early thing. Also, this is... Okay, that was a bit worrisome. Let's see, I can get this. Now we go here. Smash that. So this part I had cracked. Really, it was just that I wasn't supposed to kill the, um other stepping stones. And that was kind of all there was to it, as far as I can tell. 
Like, I can kill this. Now, this I'm going to toss to the side because I want to use this. I'm going to toss this over into the corner. Into the corner. Mm, okay, good enough, I think. No, need a little bit closer. That should be good enough. Uh, okay. Really? I thought this was the solution. Really looks like it should be. Oh, maybe I was supposed to toss these up into those. Uh, th the issue is I can't stack them because they're both blue. So the moment they touch, they'll just die. Um, it might be that I was supposed to be using those set things up top. Oh yeah, because you can aim them. Okay, that's literally all it is. I was looking at it the wrong way. Uh, you, I just want to stun. So yeah, this is actually a lot simpler than I thought it was. The answer is I'm not supposed to reach the top to begin with, but I wasn't supposed to do that. So here, I'll get through this part for the last time. I feel like there should have been another checkpoint after this, but oh no, that's not good. Now that I know the solution, I'm screwing up on this very early, very easy part. Because I'm getting impatient with it. That's the problem. Just need to not get so impatient with this part. So this goes here. Sort of. Okay. Get that. So this part's done. Multiplier. Now for this, I don't go up there at all. Instead I take you and I simply need to aim this Multiplier. at the other blue things up there. This is kind of annoying though because if I miss even once, then I still need to restart. It's way too easy to just get into a state where you need to restart, I feel. Also, this multiplier is really not doing much for me because I can't actually get up there. <laughs> but there we go. That's how you were supposed to do it, as far as I know. Ready, steady, go. Okay, what you said. Okay, I just need to do multiple wall jumps. The enemies seem to be able to wall jump much more elegantly than I can. I guess they're astronauts. So they have a bit more jump to them. Okay, six enemies remain. This looks like a bubble bobble arena, almost. This game's a lot more combat heavy than I thought it would be. Like puzzle combat, but wasn't expecting it to be literally focused on killing enemies. Hmm. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, just very odd. Where is the last one? Okay. I don't know where you were before because I thought I looked over there, but whatever. It's dead now. Ready, steady, go. What if I go to the right? No, nothing. Not even a secret achievement. I do like the little block telling me exactly how many of each color exists in the level. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need to grab that thing eventually. Well, I guess I don't need to grab it. I need to bring something to it. I think. Or, let's see, I guess I can just walk on top of it and it'll take me up there. Is that how this is going to work? Let's see. 
yeah, I just go on top of it and it'll eventually take me up, sort of. Oh no, I need to completely take this thing out of here. Just shove it anywhere, really. Now I just wait for it to unstun. Dodge. Green Panda. I think that everything I need to kill is just the stuff up here already. Yeah, this is a small level with a lot of enemies. I keep finding them riser on the way up. <laughs> One set for each color remains. Where's the remaining green one? There you are. Multiplier. Yeah, so other than that kind of oddly harsh puzzle at the end of that one level, this seems pretty solid so far. Not quite where I was expecting of it, but solid all the same. I am curious as the level design in the second game, like even if it's the same mechanics, it's probably polished up more. Ready, ready, go. Ten blue, two yellow. Okay. I get the feeling those two yellow are going to be the tricky part. Oh, maybe not. I and mean, there's just one right here. I'm assuming the other one is just on the other side. Yep. Okay, so that actually seems like it's the easiest one. Because now I need to kind of wall jump up into... Wait. No, how do you... I can't go through this. So how do you... How do you do this? Because my wall jump is not sufficient to actually grab any of these things. Like... This looks like the type of platform that you just walk through, but or like fall down through, but I don't have the option to do that. Hmm. And my wall jump is really not impressive enough, impressive enough to really handle that. Maybe I need to use the yellow ones to hit the blue into the other blue. Maybe that's something I can do? I feel like... Eh, maybe. Let's see. If I do this... Okay. So again, kind of more of a puzzle than anything else right now. Oops. This is a kind of tricky angle. I guess I kind of have two chances with the yellows as well. Like, if one of them misses and ends up getting stuck up there... I can just grab the other one and use it to finish the job and then throw it up at the other yellow one. Okay, this one looks like it's probably the hardest of the lot. Okay. That's a lot of coins I can't get. Oh, and now I decide to be bad at wall jumping. Okay. Certainly making me use all of the mechanics it taught me. I wonder if this game has bosses. I assume ready, I'm probably going to go. find one at the end of this set of levels. Kind of approaching the 30-minute um, mark for this game, but I did say at least 30 minutes. I kind of wouldn't mind seeing what's at the end of all of these level 1s. Uh, let's see, I can't wall jump with this. Can't really throw it through that either. Maybe I just do nothing? Hmm. Oh, that's bad. That's somehow managed to be worse. Go. Uh, time wall jump. Okay, I can't wall jump off of that at all. Right. So I grab this. I'm kind. Of... No, that's not what I want to do. Go. I think it's I can't quite fit in here nicely. So I want to use that as a step. I 
Uh, no, I don't think you face downward when you pick it up. The one thing I'm not liking about this game is it does require a fair bit of precision. Like, if I pick it up, it just does that. Like, what I need to do is I need to put, like, here, and then I can get into there in my apple form. Which would be great, except whenever I try throwing it, it bounces like crazy. Okay, if I throw it straight down, it goes where I want it to. So this is going to be basically the same thing. And I guess I need to kill them with the pandas when all said and done. Okay, so straight down is how you do that when you need complete precision. I assume I'm on the right track with this. Oh, please don't go over there. Okay, good enough. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, now how do I get to the pandas? I guess that's the other part of the question. This way. And I need to do them in... Man, this level requires way too much backtracking. Because I'm pretty sure I need to... Well, no, I guess I don't need to do the pandas in reverse order. I just need to do that, basically, and ensure that I hit them. Okay. And this one I can just take down with me. Whatever. There we go. Okay. There's no coins to grab. I'll give it until level 1-12 around to see if I eventually get to the end of all the level 1s. That's not really what I want to do, but whatever. Oh, hey. That kind of worked out. Okay, let's see how much I can get this multiplier going. Multiplier's kind of getting really up there. Like, oh, well, that's the end of the multiplier. Yeah, that's a shame. Like, the coin showers are definitely very satisfying. I do like seeing a bunch of pickups just scattered across the screen. Okay, this is new. So, do I just use their corpses? Is that what you're getting at? No, they seem to actually... Ooh. They seem to actually just bounce along on the spikes, actually. Hmm. So... I guess I throw them all like this. I'll just carry you. And let's see what happens with this. Spiky. Okay. Okay, and the other half are over here. This is going to be a bit tricky. I'm just going to play it safe and wait for them to come to me. Of course, the yellow ones first. Okay. Red. Now I just need to wait for the yellow one one more time. I'm glad enemies don't, like, get agitated while you're holding them. Like, you can just hold them for an infinite amount of time, as far as I can tell. Okay. That's about 30 minutes, but I feel like I started a little bit late, so yeah, I can go. Yeah, I've only been live for 28 minutes, so I can go for at least one more. This also looks like a pretty involved level. Wow, it sure is. Okay, I need to find 
the green things to get rid of that pillar. Oh, wow. Yeah, prey involved is definitely accurate here. And I died. I bet that light bulb right there is a checkpoint too. So basically this whole thing is a journey to get into the upper part to get that um, pillar up there to toss it down to this other pillar down here. Oops. I do feel like the game should have given me a reason to care about all this money by now. Oh yeah, the pendants are super sharp. There are sharper spikes. <laughs> and <laughs> perfect. There you go. I'm not even going to bother with the coins because I have a panda to catch. There. I probably should have done is I probably should have taken this lower one first to get rid of the yellow panda up there. That way I only need to worry about matching the red to the red. Which makes life a whole lot easier. And now this one, I feel like the panda is going to rebound a bit, so I'm just going to wait there. Okay, and there's a checkpoint. Honestly, we probably should have beelined it for that checkpoint before doing all the pandas. Okay. There we go, 16 times multiplier, let's just keep that multiplier going. I wonder if there's a cap on this multiplier, or if it really does just keep going. Hmm. Ready, steady, go. Okay, this will actually be the last level. I'll probably end up playing more of this in the near future. Might even stream more of it. It's actually... It's definitely a bit rough in some ways, but... It's also surprisingly interesting, like, the puzzles are kind of satisfying, and the controls are actually pretty good. Like, I feel like the checkpointing's the one area where it's a bit iffy at times, but it's not, like, insanely bad, at least not so far. I have ten enemies left. Also, that wall jump really is just very unsatisfying, though. Please stop coming quite that close. There you go. Oh, this is a bit intense. Okay, down to six of them. That makes it not exactly easy, but certainly a lot more breathing room than I had a second ago. Uh, multiplier. Okay. And that, un unless the next level is a boss fight, which I doubt, um, that'll do it for Applejack. We got ballerina pigs, which follow you. Okay. Yep, that's it for Applejack for now. So, on to the next game. Yep, exit to Windows. Uh, I need to check the list. Ghost Lords is next one. From what I understand of this game, um, other than from the trailer, it's kind of like a bit of a roguelike, but not really, with campaign, with like multiple campaigns and ghosts and ghost catching, so it's kind of like Pokemon. I don't know. That's what I understand of it. Uh, let's see, let's make sure it's recording properly. It is, good. Okay, so we have... How many campaigns? Five. Okay. And each of them have their own achievements. Okay, so we have all these. I'm assuming 
that the earliest ones are the easiest ones. This one, I guess, just goes on forever, maybe. Oh yeah, oh, it says endless. So, let's start with this one. Okay, nature goes, the sun arrival of the Met Force, that just makes me think of Mega Man, the little Mets. Uh, okay, change the then. I'm not, I don't care about the achievements. We you. Oh, I can pick my ghost from this list of things. It starts as a corpse. I like the dumb, the dumb blushing freezer. That's really good. <laughs> Wow. Um, Wee you. Okay. This game is already really charming in a dumb way that I like. Change is just... Okay. I'm gonna leave it as the corpse because that's what it started me with. I assume hardcore is... No okay. No checkpoints. Yep. So let's try it with just the default. Um, I do know that they said that when you get a ghost in one campaign, you permanently have access to it for future campaigns. So there's a bit of crossover. And for future playthroughs of the other campaign. Okay, let's see what this is. 20 years after the ending. Okay. So basically, bad stuff happened and now there's ghosts and magic. I guess this is Daniel? How did you become a ghost lord? They didn't really explain much of what ghost lord is. It's a Pokemon master, I guess. Yeah, it's a, po it's a Pokemon master. Okay, I'm mostly browsing through this for the sake of the stream. So, we're in a bad, dangerous area. Uh, okay. I guess that this option's here specifically because we have a water ghost and it's a dumb ice pun. Or I guess our ghost said that. Hello there. So you guys missed um, Applejack, which was surprisingly solid. But this is the very start of Ghost Lords, which is Pokemon with ghosts. And like weird campaign elements. So I guess it doesn't really matter with much which of these we choose. This very much feels like the tutorial campaign. Um, yeah, I'm not going to leave you alone. I need to capture you. Okay. This is Pokemon. So we have an energy cost. That's pretty good. Minus 50% attack power for 6 turns. Uh, but we're strong against this thing, so let's just murder it a whole lot. And it is very, very dead. I don't know how we actually capture it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I want to capture it. Yeah. Let's not do nicknames. Okay, we, we got five money. <laughs> what has Daniel done? Oh. Oh, I thought this was Daniel in the weird hat. It's someone else, apparently. Do, 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 do. Evil police working for Lady Fletcher. Great. <laughs> well, you're an organic. Maybe you're weak to robots. No. Uh, oh, you're weak to Earth. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'll just straight up disable it for a turn, I guess. Then bash. So I do get energy back every turn. Ow. So I get two energy back each turn, it looks like. Don't know if that changes from um, ghost to ghost. Ah, oh, you didn't even level. Do, do, do. Yeah, we just killed a man. Good start. So they tried capturing him and they tried murdering us. I guess we are the ghost lord of the group. <laughs> Why are we answering? I feel like answering is a bad idea here. Okay. We got an exclamation point. Let's take the right side. Oh, I want you on the team. Oh, you didn't heal. Crap. This thing looks like it's a robot, and the last robot was weak to ward her, so... Let's just ward her fall it. Oh, this thing's fast. And has way more health. Let's also faint. Since this thing's actually hurting quite a bit. Okay. Okay, this leveling oh leveling up does not heal us. Why were I ever gambler? Okay. Yes, of course I want the robot ghost. Oh, it's a healer! Oh, I have a ton of money. Permanent boost to your ghosts. That sounds good since there's no backtracking as far as I'm aware. Uh, ghosts take 20% less damage, active under 50% health, active over 50% health. Uh, let's see. So I wonder if I can only take one or the other. No, I guess I can probably take both. Critical chance increases. Don't really care about that. Don't really like that one. This one's just straight up ghosts take 20% less damage, but it's really expensive. Um, you know what? I'm going to heal before anything else. Um, I might just straight up take permanent 20% less damage. I kind of like having that. Ate up all of my money. But, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, we have quite a few branching... Wow, okay. This is a legitimate campaign. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. So that's an unknown, that's a wild ghost, and that's a merchant. Well, I just spent all my money, so that's not happening. That's a quest. So if I take this unknown, if I want to get that quest, I'd have to take the remaining unknowns. Which, I mean, I guess isn't really an issue. Uh, let's see, and there's a healer on the other side of that quest. Let's see what an unknown is. Okay, it's just like a random occurrence, I guess. Nethermere Castle? Well, well, yes, of course we prefer if it were Ghost Lord. <laughs> do, do, do. I, I knew the name. Uh, do we get to just shape reality with our answer? Okay. And I feel like that would be relevant to his sister, maybe. Well, let's just tell him everything we know. Okay. That seems like it's not worth the equivalent of another party member, but maybe that'll be useful. Well, fine. 
What do you have? You have an Earth Organic Ghost, a Justice Robot Ghost, and a Justice Ghost. Uh, let's take an, let's take Gamble out for a spin. Oh, it's a Cerberus. Plus 1,000% defense. Okay. I mean, I guess it only lasts one turn, and it costs a ton. I guess I'll just do Evil Strike. Wait, does strong mean that it's strong against the attack, or does strong mean that it takes extra damage from the attack? Now that I think about it. Yeah, anticipates a defend command. Uh, I'm glad that the shield is in play. Uh, I'll use this. Ow. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to use Anticipate because that's... Never mind. How do I get plus defense now? Uh, and Gambler, you're really not doing so well, are you? Uh, evil Strike, I guess? Or I guess Anticipate is for the turn after I use Anticipate. Okay. I guess I'll just do what damage I can. Nope, I died. Maybe robot? Let's see. I guess justice beats evil. And I think water beats robot. So let's do waterfall. I mean, that makes sense, right? It's short circuits. Let's just splash it. Faint is also really good. I'm not using faint because I'm. I should have just horrified it. But oh well, now I have all this for next time. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I should faint him right now. Uh, or I could just kill him now. There's a very good chance I'll. No, I won't kill him. Let's faint. Yeah, that attack down is super good. So yeah, this is pretty much Pokemon. It's pretty much what it said it was, so I, I do like the trappings. Oh, I actually get to choose an upgrade. Hmm. These stats are all so high. Uh, I kind of like having extra speed on this one because of faint. So I'm going to do that. Uh, good. Acknowledge my victory and go away forever. Um, I want that quest, I want that healer, so let's go this way. Oh, this is bad. Uh, let's start with Mask. Wow! <laughs> we really murdered that man. Okay. <laughs> let's get a quest. And do do do. Who was asking for me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, di hmm. Didn't you just think that ghosts weren't real? Or no, I guess he didn't think that teleportation was real. I don't really have a ghost that relies on burn damage. That's a nice relic. I'll take the relic. And as far as I know, you get infinite relics. So I could go for the healer, or I could go for the wild ghost. I'm gonna go for the healer. Also, what's in your relic shop? 
Okay, you can only have five relics. Ah, oh, these are both really good. Um, I think I'll go ahead and take Last Resort. That seems pretty solid. It's another Ghost Lord. Oh, my dead ghosts don't come back. That's good to know. Wait, you evil fire, ice thunk. Well, I assume water beats fire. Yeah, it does. Oh, defense down. That's not good. I bet that ice thunder one's gonna be really bad for me, though. Um, yeah, it is. If I'm going to faint and then switch. Wow. I. Uh, why? I guess it shocked me. Um, okay, yeah. I probably should have just switched over to this to begin with. Mask kind of isn't messing around. You're just raw evil. Okay. Okay, if I flash now... Okay, that actually kind of works because he just defense lowered me. So that's one less turn I need to deal with having no defense. Oof, I'm going to die. I'll just tackle him. There we go. And my team is really not looking great. I kind of just like having speed. I think I'm going to just get more speed. Oh, I don't like either of these options. I'll take the left one because it's... <laughs> so do I just murder a lost guy or do I... um? Just do this, let's see. I'll just say no idea. Okay. How do I get my dead ghost back? Like, I don't know if he's dead forever now? Okay, so that's some sort of weird unknown thing, but it does lead to enemies and merchants. Um, alternately, both of these lead to wild ghosts. This one seems like the highest risk, high reward, if I can get to the merchants. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting some new ghosts in the other ones. I guess I can pick this one, and if this seems like it's not worth it, I can always just go to the middle bit. Like, this left path seems really not great. Uh, so yeah, let's just take the right path. Do, 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 do. Oh, this place is huge. Um, okay, if I go to this merchant, I can make it to the healer, but then I can't make it to the wild ghost. It always seems to like, make me choose between a healer or wild ghost. I'll start on the merchant. Um, ability shop. I can just buy abilities? Uh, how does this work? I don't really want to put money towards something that I don't quite understand yet. Uh, do I want any of these? No... Stats shop. Okay, I can just straight up give them more stats. Oh, is my other ghost just gone completely, I guess? I guess he's just gone. He, like, so when they die, they're gone, gone. And I can't revive them. Huh. Good to know. Um... But 
loyalty shop. Yeah, still not really. Hmm. What to do with this? I kind of wouldn't mind more health for my mask. Or more will, maybe. I'll give my mask more will. I feel like it's really low. Oh wait, this guy's will is even worse. Maybe the mask's will is actually high? Uh, I'll take this one. Huh. Okay, well if you're Justice Ghost. Justice Ice. The Lightning Ice thing was weak to Earth, but I don't know if that's because of the Lightning or because of the, um... Ice. Well, let's see. Okay. This guy is not weak to Earth. So... Let's just tackle him. Oh, you have a lot of health. Oh, crap. Right. I, I really shouldn't let my people die like that. Oh, this is going really poorly all of a sudden. I probably should have used faint. I'll do that now. Again, minus 50% attack for like six turns is quite a big deal. So I'm down to one corpse with really garbage HP. Oh, right, the Enforcer can join me, though. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Lost mask on Enforcer. Um... I would like a wild ghost, but I actually really do like the corpse. Um... So I think I'm gonna hold off on wild ghost. What the heck? Yes, let's attack the cat ghost. Are you even actually a ghost cat? It just says you're organic. Let's f let's just freeze the cat to death, I guess. Wow, you're you have a ton of health. Uh, I'll take plus one hundred percent defense. I do like this, um, energy system. It's a lot better than the system in actual Pokemon. Because strong attacks actually have consequences. I think I just murdered a cat and pretended it was a ghost. Oh, no. Um, I, I guess it was really a ghost. It's, it's an organic ghost. <laughs> cat. The danger is gone. Yeah, we're healing. I doubt you have anything that I can afford. Wow, that would have been useful. I had to start actually saving my money. Yes, exactly. It's a ghost now. Uh... Well, let's put the cat ghost into action, right? We can intensify the cat. Cat's not looking so well. Um, let's hope the cat doesn't just die right here and now. Okay, and now we'll switch out cat for corpse. Oh, okay, so I guess I should have paid attention to that. So switching doesn't actually eat up your turn the way it does in Pokemon. That's super good to know. He just murdered a man with a zombie. Oh. Hmm. That's... Ooh. That's tempting. Yeah, I'll learn it. I'll get rid of Punch. I think. That's just really better than Waterfall, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's just straight better than Waterfall. Right, like there's nothing... Yep, okay, just better all around. We'll go here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't very effective. <laughs> um, this is Ghost Lords. I'll be playing this for, um... Actually around... Five-ish more minutes before moving on to the next game for tonight's stream. So this game's kind of like Pokemon, but a little bit more involved in some ways. It's kind of pretty good so far. Cat is an inch away from leveling. Hello, random child. Oh, you're, you're, chi you're a ghost child. Or no, you're a ghost lord child. See, I think they always use their... Um, ghosts in the order that they're listed, so Evil Ice is going to be first, which means Justice Guy will be pretty good here. Um, I'm gonna give myself defense up before anything else. Yeah, this game's pretty good. Also, I should mention, um, pretty much all the games for tonight's stream are currently about five-ish dollars on Steam because of the sale, so if you, like, give or take, uh, so if any of them do look interesting, um, they're pretty cheap right now. Let's see, I guess I'll just use Punish. Okay. Like, I don't have anything that strong against Ice, as far as I'm aware. I don't really know what Organic is strong against, so I'm gonna just stick with this guy. Lost my barrier, but my attacks are strong against him. Ooh. That being said, this is a bit scary. Let's switch to cat. Uh, no, you know what? Let's switch to corpse and faint. Ow. Okay. Everything. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> um, that went pretty well. Uh, let's see, Enforcer, I... I don't know if his attacks are magic or physical. I, I wish I could... Oh, can I look at them? Physical. Frostbite's magic, but I don't really care about that as much. Um... Okay. So, I'll take strength. Cat is... Pure physical. Uh, man, Cat's not very good. I I'm sorry to say Cat is not very good. Um, I, I guess I'll give it strength. Um, so I can go here to get more Wild Ghosts, but I kind of like my current team. Whereas this place has a higher rate of random counters. I guess. Okay. This will be the last one I do of this game before moving on to the next game. I really need that healer. Any decent relics? That one's good. Um, preparation's also pretty good. I'm gonna take the experience up. This is still relatively early in this run. And with suave top hat. Um, so, getting a massive experience boost sounds pretty good. Are you just a. Okay, you're a Justice Ice Enforcer, the same as mine. Um, let's have an Enforcer fight. This is a bad idea. Okay, this is going absolutely nowhere. 
This is just gonna end with me, um, losing a whole lot of health over time. Ah, oh, but this isn't helpful either. Cat, can you save me? Let's see. Oh god, Cat's gonna die at this rate. And I can use Frostbite, but it's also... And I guess it disables it for a turn. Or not? Maybe it's a chance. Or maybe the disable didn't work because it's weak. To, because this is not strong against it. Uh, man, I just have nothing for this fight. This mirror match of the century here. Five damage. Oh, did it say 30% dis- Oh, 30% disabled, yeah. Okay. Okay, I need to actually finish this thing off pretty quickly now. There we go. Uh, Condemn looks awesome. Let's see, instead of a stat increase, I could learn Condemn. Uh, I kind of wish it showed it to me alongside my existing thing. So that's 75 damage, 20% crit, versus 40 damage and 10% crit, but it costs two more power. Oof, that's pretty pricey. Though I could use Barrier and Condemn. I'll do it. Um, I mean, alternately I could get more stamina, will, or health, but I feel like those stats are already pretty good. Um, I do like having Frostbite, and Barrier is helpful, so yeah, goodbye Punish. Um, this game has permadeath in that if ghosts, when they die, are permanently gone. Um, but I, there was a hardcore bond that's like, you don't get to go back to checkpoints if you select it, and I didn't select it, so... I think if all of my ghosts die, I go back to the start of this set and get to retry. Um, I really don't have a need for two enforcers. As much as I would like to replace the cat with it, it's kind of good to have variety. Uh, I'll go right, I guess. Oh, that's bad. You have a... M okay. Evil ghost. Justice Ghost, uh, let's just shove a barrier onto my face right now. Okay, so evil does not beat justice. And let's just condemn it. Yeah, that's pretty good. These are some pretty fancy attack animations for a game like this. One downside to getting condemned is it does take me a while before I can use it a second time, I guess. have a mirror match. Mine's way stronger than theirs. Also, I, I think it's interesting that your energy is equal to whatever it was at the end of the previous fight. Like, you don't heal back up to full energy for your um, ghosts between fights. And... 101 damage! Weak! I'm just gonna punch it. There we go. Last one. Earth Evil. Job for the Enforcer. Sigurons. Pretty good name. Oh, my barrier went away. Oh, you were very dead. Yeah, that plus 20%, um... Experience is pretty nice right about now. Um, okay, all this is still physical other than Frostbite. Mm. 
I think I'm just gonna get strength up because ideally I one shot evil things with condemn. What does charge do? 75 damage, 10% crit versus 60 damage and 10% crit from tackle. Yeah, I'll probably learn that. Yeah, let's replace tackle with charge. Oh, love money. Yeah, this game's cool. I like it. We might be replacing the cat with a wild ghost. <laughs> Why, hello there, cyber enforcer of justice and fire. <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh, let's switch to you. Well, Corpse isn't doing anything until I get healer. <laughs> um, you need more speed. Uh, let's see. I kind of like having this thing because it has fire. I I'm sorry, I'm getting rid of the cat. Goodbye, cat. Oh, hey, look, we have this. I can stop the ghost or help out, or I can just try to scare it away. Okay. Doom Shade. Let's just condemn it right off the bat. Ooh, defense down is gonna suck. Let's switch to my other Justice Ghost, who has no energy left. So you have Condemn and Fireball and Slash. Man, Avenger is really fast. I like Enforcer more, but Avenger is fast. Oh, I didn't even get an option to get... Doom, say, Doom Shade. So yeah, this game's really cool. Um, why would I... Oh, poor ghost. Um, I, I, I guess I'll take the relic. Okay. So, I don't know what happens um, if I already have five relics. I assume I just get to replace one of my choice. Let's see. Oh, you have a stats shop. Um, okay, so strength, stamina, and health are my options here. Plus 40? Oh man, plus 40. That's kind of no joke. Uh, mm, I think I'll give this one plus 40. Ah, uh, plus 40 strength would be really good. That's kind of the thing, right? Um, I, I kind of would like more health, because judging from that last attack, Fritz are starting to get kind of scary. But at the same time, 40 more attack power is really good on my end. I think I'm going to give myself the attack power, because I've been pumping this guy's speed already. As long as I can get the first hit in, I can reduce the opponent's attack by half, which kind of is survivable enough, I think. So let's do 40 strength. Okay, and with that, I basically have three areas I can choose to go to. Let's see, so this place is primarily merchants, this place is primarily enemies. Uh, and this place is primarily ghosts. I am going to go ahead and... Let's see... I'll choose one and then I'll save and quit. Let's do the primarily enemies. I haven't seen a blue banner before. Um, I guess it just means that most of the random encounters are enemies. 
I don't really know. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do save and quit. And I am, so you are locked in, you're not allowed to make multiple saves or anything, judging by that. And that's it for Ghost Lords, definitely running a bit over time on that, but whatever. Um, so yeah, Ghost Lords seems pretty good. Ooh, and there's mods. I guess you can add mods if you have any. I don't have any, and I don't know anyone that has made any. But that's nice that they added that, I guess. Anyway, that's Ghost Lords. Next one, I believe, is Wells. Yes, next one on the list is Wells, which looks like it can really go either way in terms of quality. It kind of looked not great, but at the same time, it seems to really have that PlayStation 1 era platformer vibe going on, which is which I kind of like in a wonky way. And also, this game is super loud compared to the other one, so I am turning it way down. There we go. Well, so let's see, it's 10.50, so we'll be ending this at around 11.20. Give or take. New game. What is this voice acting? <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying to expand its power, they tricked the wrong man. I am assuming the developers of this game do not have English as their native language. Um because if they do, oh boy, that voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, okay. So I can't use the D-pad, I have to use the analog stick. Uh, right stick aims. I sure hope Chump is on one of the LRR buttons with that. Oh boy, it sure isn't. Uh, oh, my bullets ricocheting endlessly. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Well, let's see how this goes. I guess I just murder you? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's just murder all these people. I, I guess because we're wanted? Because of the evil Hyde Corporation, or or something. Don't really have a good way of dodging. I mean, I guess I have the slide. Oh, I have ammo. Oh wait, no, it regenerates over time though. Or no, that's no, that is ammo, but it does regenerate over time. Yeah, they're cops because we're wanted. They're they're all just old person cops on like you know. Two weeks away from retirement, or give or take. Okay, how do I pull this? I don't shoot it. Uh, no? That looks like I... I'm doing something where I'm like this. Okay. What? Okay. Sure. This game is super wonky. Guess I'll just take those hits. Probably could have avoided it in some way. But I'm not sure how. I feel like my hitbox is way too big. I feel like I should have a natural duck other than this weird slide. No, we're in it for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, let's see, I guess I need to go down there. Okay. I don't know why they gave me this alternate path if... Uh, I... Can I not drop down? Do I have to... I need to actually climb to the end.
Okay. I, for what it's worth, my health seems to regenerate. So there's no real consequence to taking damage. Like both my health and my ammo regenerate pretty quickly the moment I stop being in combat. I really hope this game is not going to ask me too much about jumping and aiming and shooting, because that's not on the table here. Um, can I do something with this wheel? No, it's just there. This game sure has a lot of art assets. I don't know if they're all original or if they just got from an asset pack. Like, if they are all original, they kind of went for it. If they aren't, then at least they chose an asset pack that I certainly haven't seen before. Great. Great. Bank. So it seems like the only thing that I can actually um, ricochet off of is this car, which I've now exploded. We are wanted. I feel like we should have more than a 10, I guess that's $10,000 bounty on our heads, considering that we're just running through the streets murdering a whole bunch of policemen. Who presumably aren't necessarily doing anything wrong other than going after us because we're wanted. <laughs> okay. Well, I know you're telling me to go left, but you put platforms to the right for literally no reason. Okay. Don't know if this game has secrets. Or anything? I feel like there should be collectibles. I feel like there should be collectibles around here. Uh huh. Okay, we got a guy with a shield. Yeah, regenerating health kind of makes this all feel very trivial. We killed him. Good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like, my health regenerates so fast at this point. Okay, I got an achievement for getting a ricochet. Like, my health just regenerates so quickly that it feels like I can... I'm basically invincible. Like, all I need to do is step away from combat for, like, three seconds and I'm back up to full. And that'll matter more in boss fights, I guess. Alright, now you're teaching me to slide. Okay. We hit a checkpoint. Ooh, this is a lot of nothing. Oh, it's a boss. Okay. I guess we'll get some, um... Barrels? Yeah. Nope. There we go. Hmm. Really hard to see where my shots are going. Guess if I miss too many barrels, it'll just eventually catch up to me. Wonder how many hits it takes. I think I've hit three times so far. Four. Yeah, as long as I keep pushing it back, this attack of it is literally a non-threat. Five. Six. Oops. Nope. I don't know if it's a matter of dealing enough damage to it or of pushing it back until it, like, runs into something. I'm assuming something happens if I push it back enough, but it could just be that once you reach a certain point, it stops being pushed back. Mm 
Okay. Oh, no, I guess I pushed it back enough. Okay. Uh-huh, you're just gonna keep on going, huh? Why do you make me hit this multiple times? Yeah, this feels really bland so far, to be perfectly honest. L like, I kind of like the PS1-style look of the game, but, um... Gameplay is... really tedious so far. Uh, maybe that'll change. I got a new gun. This seems worse than my other gun in every way. Okay. So I can switch them easily at least. So that's just a straight up permanent upgrade. Okay, never mind. This gun's pretty good. Uh, the issue is I'm not feeling challenged at all. Also, everything moves very slow and there's a lot of there's a lot of this. A lot of platforming that doesn't actually do anything. Like, this is... I mean, I guess right now they're just tutorializing me on the gun, but the other level had parts that were very much not tutorial, that were just very empty. Well, I do definitely like this gun more than the other gun, because it feels more active and satisfying. Oh, I need to reload. Okay, you only get four at a time. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. Wait, can I hurt myself with this gun? No. Like, if... I don't know why they decide to give you regenerating health. That is... To me, that just makes it seem like they couldn't make levels where it was possible to dodge all the damage. So to make up for that, they just said, No, instead of making it so that you can dodge, we're just going to let you regenerate. Like, that's usually what regenerating health is there for, right? When the level design makes it so you can't just avoid damage by playing well. It's a very lazy way to do health because it allows for sloppy level design. Yeah. Like, right now, the level design's yeah. not atrocious, it's just... boring. Um, were there difficulty settings? I can look, but I don't think so. I think the only settings were, like, windowed or full screen and, like, controls and graphics. I've killed 100 enemies. This game's kind of tossing achievements at me. Not sure if they're showing up on the stream. Uh, oh, that's a question. Um, since I can't really see my OBS window right now... Um, oh, so this gun can't blow up exploding barrels. Okay. Uh, kind of an odd time to tutorialize that. Uh, since I can't see my OBS window right now, um, are my achievements like at all visible when they pop up in the bomb, right? Or, I don't think they should be, because this is window capture. But, who knows. There we go. Actually, it was slightly in danger there. Okay, good. Um, I feel like we're getting up to a boss already? Maybe not. I ended up playing Ghost Lords for quite a while over the time limit, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so far of the three games, I think Ghost Lords is my favorite, but I did like Applejack a lot too. And this is not... This isn't awful, it's just really bland so far. Uh, the music is not helping in the slightest. Like, this is super generic, like, action-y music. Can I not shoot you? Okay, there we go. Just refill up to full. 
Okay, um... Okay, so I can shoot while holding onto this, but I can't shoot while moving. I guess because they couldn't... They didn't know how to do the animation. I mean, I feel like the answer would be to just cancel your movement and let you shoot instead of making the player manually cancel their movement. But, eh. Oh, I am almost positive the music is for use. I would be astounded if this is original. Like, it has that generic, just slap this on your kind of somewhat want, like, somewhat wacky action sequence music, right? How am I using this gun still? That's not the good gun. This is the good gun. This game would be improved so much with any sort of collectibles. Like, just give players something to do. Especially, like, especially this. Like, I just rode a lift for around, what, 10 seconds? For no real reason? Like, it didn't accomplish anything. It wasn't a puzzle. It wasn't satisfying. There was a soldier at the end as a bit of a surprise. If but, like, it's only pri surprise because nothing happened for an extended period of time, so it was unexpected. We got some spiders. Let's see, so I th think I said that... Yeah, I started this round 10.50, so 11.20. Fifteen more minutes. Like, it feels like I've seen pretty much everything this game has to offer already. But I do want to give every game at least 30 minutes, give it the benefit of the doubt. Oh, hey, we have a boss fight. What? What am I supposed to do about that? Um, can I climb on the grating? No. Um, I'm clearly missing something. There isn't a duck bind. There's a slide bind. As far as I'm aware, I cannot duck. Like, I can change weapon, I can shoot, I can slide, and yeah, that's it. I don't have a duck button. <laughs> sure feels like a fight made with a duck button in mind, doesn't it? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Um... Oh. <sighs> Am I supposed to not hit the boss? Is that it? Maybe if it... I don't think I can damage race it. I've tried damage racing it quite a bit. What? What is this game? <laughs> And I can tr certainly try damage tracing it. No. <laughs> like, surely I'm just missing something. But what could be? I have no idea. Like, this is the checkpoint. I don't see anything I can interact with other than the boss. I feel like I should be able to grab something? Hmm. 
No, I can't hold the side. If I hold the side button, it just does that. I can, like, I can wrap it side. Sort of. I not really. Sure seems like I should have a duck. <laughs> I can ricochet shots. This, the name of this game is Wells. W-E-L-L-S. <laughs> um, like, I'm pressing every button. I feel like I'm missing something basic. But... I don't know what that could be. Hmm... Like, that seems like the type of attack that you're supposed to get out of the way, right? Like, I'm stuck on a 2D plane. It's not like I can just leave. I can't leave the 2D plane. <laughs> um, he ducked? You're sure? Wait. If I use the keyboard, I have a duck button. On the keyboard, I have a duck button. <laughs> meanwhile... <laughs> meanwhile, on the um, controller, I do not seem to have a duck button. Um... Oh, yeah, I'm I'm supposed to have one right there. L down. Hmm. <laughs> well. Good testing. Wait, how do you aim with mouse and keyboard? Aim. Mouse. Uh, so while I have the mouse, while I have the key, um, it, it seems like while I have the controller plugged in, I can't aim with the mouse, <laughs> which, um, a as you might imagine, it is a little bit of a problem. It's okay though, this fight seems really pathetic now that I've discovered the power of being able to duck. Yeah, just soaking up that poison damage. Who cares? Oh no! Well... Isn't this just delightful? I, I guess I can't properly heal while I'm taking poison damage. No, never mind. Now I'm able to properly heal. No, I don't even know if I'm actually dealing damage to it or if it just periodically moves on to the next phase. Like, it certainly looks like I'm damaging it, but could just all be timed, right? I don't know why they would do that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is not a good game. Maybe. Just maybe this game has some issues. Oh, did I kill it? I killed it. Good. Well, I'm sure glad that I can duck and whatnot. Why can't I duck game? Why can't I aim with the mouse while the controller's plugged in for that matter? <laughs> Oof. Th these are literally the most basic of basic testing things. Oh, come on, no. Uh, I guess we're doing this now. Hmm, 
it, this is this is this whole phase, huh? Okay then. Uh, let go of the ladder, please. Oh no! Do I need to? Let, please let go of the ladder. Hmm. There we go. I was only allowed to let go at a very specific point, apparently. C. Because of 13 deaths. Mm. Oh, sorry game, that my duck button seems to be magically not working. <laughs> I mean, for what it's worth, I am using a PS3 controller, I'm not using an Xbox controller. Maybe Duck got mapped to something weird. And you know, all the other things just got mapped perfectly. We have a turret. Um, I guess that means if I put something in there it hits that? Okay. I mean... That seems like a neat mechanic, other than the fact that it's literally just hitting something and then the other thing I hit does all the work. Okay, this is a time bomb. Okay, so use that, then use it again to blow it up. <laughs> We're not finishing this level, by the way. I will say that right now. <laughs> But let's see how bad it gets. Oof. Like, I, I, I really don't like being overly harsh to indie developers, but uh, honestly, this game seems like it really, really need more testing and, and maybe a bit more criticism during the development phase. Because, boy, is this a whole lot of, um... This is very samey. Like, other than the parts where it's just straight up broken, this is very samey. Like, the issue with the combat is it doesn't really feel like there's any dodging. I'm just kind of killing things before they can damage me, and then healing back to full. Especially since my duck doesn't work. But even if it did, it would only really go so far, right? These enemies are the same as the previous ones, except they take slightly more hits. So, what is there? There's like those guys, the spiders, and the flying things. So, basically three enemy types, not including the bosses. Oh no, you were ducking. Uh, let's see, how do I get down there? Do I need to duck? Oh, right, never mind, this destroys wood. Puzzle solving, sort of. Very basic. This gun is not fun to use. I guess it's mostly a puzzle gun. Okay, so basically this completely trivializes shields. This game really has no plot, does it? Like, oh no, evil guy, and we're fighting him. Mmm. This right here, this is this game in a nutshell. See that? That, like, massive length of time in which nothing was happening? I know why, too. It's because this whole thing is a scripted duration. So they can't just be like, oh, well, it's just moving and those things come in, and when you finish one wave, the next wave begins. It's that this thing is scripted for a specific length of time. 
regardless of how quickly you um, take out the flying things. Like, an easier way to do that would probably be to just simply have it move quickly, but then have it stop. Like, who cares if there's an in the universe explanation or not. Whenever um, the flying things come around, and then, you know, when you kill all of them, have the next, have it, like, move to the next wave of flying things. However. What is, I guess that's a blimp in the background? Huh. Okay, did we get up to another boss already? I'm sorry? Was that level? I, I, I get, maybe this isn't the boss, maybe it's just a set piece of sorts. Oh, let's see. Oh, do we have a time limit in which to climb this? It certainly seems that way. Or maybe it wasn't time an actual time limit. Hard to tell. Oh, gotta use our first gun now. Yeah, yes, game, you already taught me how to do that. And... Oh, I guess the blimp just flew away now. Uh, and I kind of like the look of this game because it looked like a PS1 style game, but it looked a little bit less... It kind of looked like it could have been iffy from the trailer. It's not like it looked like a masterpiece from the trailer, but it looked less bland than this, I'll put it that way. Uh, that's the time limit for Wells, but I feel like we're practically at the end of this level, so let's give this level like five more minutes before I just close it forever. Or I could just die here. That would also be a possibility. First non-boss death. No? Okay. Like, also the other thing is when you take damage in combat, it doesn't feel satisfying, because like, combat's not satisfying. It's just you kill things before they can kill you. There's not really any finesse involved. Your character doesn't really jump or maneuver well enough to really have much of a say in if he gets hit or not. Like, a little bit. Like, I did jump that one bullet right there. A and it is true that there's, like, some strategy involved in switching weapons to the appropriate one for each enemy. Um, please, do I... Are you actually going to make me climb all the way to the other side of this? You are. Okay. Um, and... Let's see. So yeah, switching weapons based on the enemy and kind of picking targets, like prioritizing, like, sure. But that's kind of it, and that on its own isn't enough. Oh, we have another blimp area, I guess. Uh huh. I made that platform up top move for some reason that I'm not entirely clear on. Oh, I guess that we need to catch that platform from up here. Is that what's happening as it slowly comes towards us? Okay. Uh, mm. Okay. Oh, was that the boss? Yeah, there was still an enemy right there, but defeated enemies 100%? Okay. I'm, I I guess they were just spawning in infinitely. Oh, a cutscene! <laughs> Impressive! 
<laughs> Hello, Mr. Monopoly Man. Ah, uh, laser orb. Okay. What? Oh, oh. I think I remember this from the trailer. Wow. There sure are some assets, com assets co coming towards me. Um. Yeah, we're moving on to the next game. Okay, I'll admit, I, I have to know. I have to know how bad this part is. Oh, boy. I'm going to give this literally a minute. There are very few things this game could have done to keep me playing it at this point, but um, awful motorcycle segment is on the list. Oh, and we have three dimensional movement now. Well, like 2.5D movement. Oof. Okay. I'm done. We are moving on to the next game. No, I didn't mean to click. Well, whatever. Who cares if I force close at this point? I wonder if accidentally clicking new game there just instantly erased my save data. I wonder if it's that type of game. Um. Last game for tonight is going to be Diamond Joyce and the Secrets of Crystal Cave, which looks kind of ugly, but it's a puzzle game, so it's kind of allowed to look kind of ugly. And also, I heard it's kind of like Boulder Dash and look neat enough that I want to try it. So there's that. Let's watch this opening sequence. This very loud opening sequence. Go mute yourself a little bit. There we go. Also, um, yeah, this is the only game that window capture is not working for. So hopefully game capture is fine. Hopefully it's not going to do something weird the way game capture sometimes does on OBS. I don't know why this would sound familiar. Like... Or do you mean the song? I feel like the song is very much, a, playing right now, is very much a, like, sort of generic ancient civilization music. It is, um, well... I'm not sure if this is, um, some sort of public domain-y, like, free music thing or not. Because the music tends to have hooks in it that were lining up with the cutscene. Oof, that is... That's an effective menu, but God, that is an ugly menu. I am so sorry, but that is an ugly, ugly menu. Um... I don't... What's the difference between hitting the picture and hitting... Okay, so what happens if I hit this? Okay, there are two different things that lead me to the exact same um, spot. I don't know if I have controller support. Um, do, 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 do. do I have controller support? Yes, I do. Oh, this perspective is weird. Well, I did say it was Boulder Dash. So, the thing with this perspective is, um, right now it looks like I'm walking on the, <laughs> um, far wall. Uh, which is very strange. This is a very strange perspective we have going on. There's like a million different models for Diamond Joyce at this point. There's that one, there's this one, there was one in the cutscene, and they all look completely different, what you have to say. You can go through sand. Okay, it's Boulder Dash. Uh huh. This fall awfully quickly. Hmm. I don't know if they're right. I I keep thinking that I can't go up like this because this background is throwing me off so much.
Um, whoever picked this background art is insane. Like, how, how is this okay? <laughs> Come on. Um, like, literal just darkness would be fine. Let's see. Okay. And other than that, the gameplay is Boulder Dash. It's not doing anything wrong. Look, boulders are very squishy, okay? They can make all the squishing noises they want. Uh, do I have to get the gems? Yeah, I guess I have to get the gems. I mean, I don't think I can complete the level otherwise. Okay, do you always roll off to the left, or does it depend on relative position? Always roll off to the left. Okay. This gem collect sound, I've heard I've heard that very specific sound effect somewhere else, and I cannot place it. It might just be like an RPG maker or game maker asset. Okay. If you throw something on it, like a boulder, for instance. I is there anything that isn't just like a boulder? So, do 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 do. I feel like this tutorial could probably go a bit faster than it is. Yeah, I sure do. I, I have specific swear filters on, so. You must have tried saying one of the specific words that I have filtered out with my swear filters. Unless that got reset by Twitch at some point. I wasn't reading that. <laughs> you can't break iron walls, but if you use slice on them, they'll disappear. Okay. Sir Acid just destroys it on touch. Yeah, I think I filtered that one out. Uh, let's see. Glass boxes can be pushed. So, uh, okay. Oh, it, you mean in this, like, level complete model the size of her shoes? Oh, everything is off with that model. Um, or do you mean the little in-game sprite? Let's see. Use them while pushing the dynamite to the breakable wall. Okay. Oh, this is literally just teaching me you can use boulders. Okay. Yes, I know how to make makeshift platforms game. Oh, I can't be too harsh on the game so far. I mean, it seems like it's being super easy. These are the tutorial levels. I feel like the tutorial levels could have used being more of levels and less of just straight up pure tutorials. Uh, glass might actually be important. Okay. Uh huh. At least that's an actually kind of useful trick. Again, kind of one that 
probably could have just come about naturally, but whatever. I don't know if I can act if I actually have to do these tutorials. Like, am I allowed to just do the next set? Okay, you are allowed to just do the next set, but I may as well do the tutorials all, like because they seem like and there's only six of them left, and they're probably actually going to be kind of useful. So how many levels are there? 24 there, 25 there, 27 there, 27 there. Okay, there's... Oh, wow, okay, it's really going. Okay, so there are, like, quite a few levels. That's, what, like, 200-something? 200-something levels? I kind of lost count, because I wasn't expecting quite that many. Okay, so, like, 10 chapters with 25 to 30 levels each, roughly. Not including the tutorial. So yeah, around like 250-ish levels. A bit more. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. Is this literally just... Put this on the elevator, and then it'll move weapons? If I touch the elevator, nothing. Okay. I will say I really despise this background so much, though. I really, really despise this background. Um. Okay, so it's just ignores gravity is a tile. Do 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 do. Hmm. One thing I'm noticing this game doesn't have, there doesn't seem to be a rewind feature, which I feel tends to be kind of important for puzzle games a lot of the time. I, I guess this one's a bit more of an action puzzle game. Uh-huh. Dynamite release a boulder. Okay. Yeah. And I guess I can get these while I'm here. This game does seem like it's going to get pretty crazy pretty quickly. And I assume I can do the levels in any order I want, technically. There doesn't seem to be anything really stopping me from doing the later levels, as far as I'm aware. Uh, no, I never played Zack and Wiki on Wii, on the Wii. I heard it's really good, though. I've wanted to play it. Eight ball moves as long as it doesn't collide. Do, 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 do. Okay. Why did you just put slime there so that there's something to look at? And I guess it's also because it's rolling its eye like crazy and the eight ball's rolling. Tile that turns level upside down. Oh, that sounds like that's gonna get super complicated later on. No, I, I mean, these mechanics certainly sound like they're interesting. So once I get past these tutorial levels that, again, the game's not forcing me to do these tutorial levels for what it's worth, uh, I could just move on to um the actual game. Lower monster under a boulder or something you can drop onto it. Others explode like dynamite. Okay. Mmm, not sure I like the whole monsters explode into gems thing if, um... Oh, okay, so only the gems that you get from, um, the end are needed. So if they explode into gems, then you need to collect the gems, but otherwise you can avoid them. I don't know if that's... I hope that's specific to each enemy type. 
because it's just like, oh, well, the monster randomly exploded, and this other one that looks the same turned into gems. That's going to be a real pain. Uh, so, here we go. Actual game proper. Just going to do this. Now we just do this. Shove this away a bit. Uh. Uh, I mean, this game is very blatantly very similar to Boulder Dash. I don't know if this is the solution to the puzzle they intended, but okay. It worked. I'm still getting used to figuring out how these actually move, apparently. So, very Boulder Dash in that regard. Uh. Oh, okay, I see. Or, no, that's wrong. I need to... Okay. Just get that out of the way, and then I can do this. Okay. Look at that, an actual honest-to-god puzzle. I just shove this like this. This is a very Boulder Dash puzzle. I feel like the movement on the um, boulders is really weird, but I'm also fully aware that it is very much Boulder Dash style boulder movement. And Boulder Dash style boulder movement is just really weird at times. I got the Tomb Raider achievement. Is this breakable? No. I probably just screwed up the puzzle by doing that. Uh, yeah, pushing onto that's not going to help. Oh, no, this seems like it should still work. Sort of. Oh, I think I was supposed to leave that. Well, let's see. I might be able to work this out still. That's not what I want to do. And it's for that reason that I wish this game had a rewind feature. I want to do this. Do, 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 do. Same fuel on this side. Now we do that. And we do that. And that. And let's see, just do a bunch of that. Now, let's see, this should just move out after a bit, right? Yeah. I guess boulders always want to move to the left or right if they can when they're stacked. some poison. I can't just push it. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh. Nope. Didn't need to push that all the way to the left. 
Yep, a rewind function would be very, very nice to have right about now. Like, let's see, um... The next level, I guess I'll just start pushing some buttons. Let's see, this looks like it's save. I'll do a quick save. Oh, okay, there's a quick save. I thought that was like a permanent save. Uh, what? I can zoom out or I could zoom in. Oof. Don't know how to do either of those things, to be honest. What happens if I just do this? Okay. What? Why'd that crush me instantly? Do I need to give it a second to stop? Okay. I don't know if this is how I'm intended to solve the puzzle, but it's how I did it. <laughs> uh, so there's 11 gems total. So I think the ones on the left are worth one gem each. I think. So, do and gem. Yep, that's a gem. Hmm. Now well, this is less than ideal. Oh, you can fly sideways. I guess I just flies around the perimeter, so it's probably going to... Yeah, okay. Not actually... You can get crushed by gems? Good to know. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose they are very large. Well, let's just grab all the gems now before they crush us to death. Screw you, gem. And I'm really bad at boulder dash. Large part of it is I just don't understand... I don't know, I have trouble f like figuring out when the rocks are going to roll to the sides. And when they're just going to remain neutral. I guess I can just... Okay, I thought that these might have been breakable in some way. Oh, this is glass. I mean... Okay, I'm going to want to do that, like, a whole bunch more times. Okay... Wait, can glass break boulders? I don't actually know if uh, or um, can glass break rocks. I mean, I don't think it can. All right? Let's see. Like, can I free the gem with glass? Oh, I can. Didn't know I could do that. In that case, you just need to do this. Then this. Does this rock have zero? I just realized that the rocks have zero animation while rolling. Uh, 
Okay, basically I need to plot out the path, I guess. So, that one... Followed by... This one... How about I do a quick save right now? Oh, this... I feel like I could probably do this faster somehow, but this is a super boring puzzle. Now we do this one... Now we do this one... Oh, oops. Right, it fell down. Good thing I have quick load. I should have saved after each and every one of these gems. I'm going to do that now. This is definitely the worst puzzle so far. <laughs> like, it's not like the other puzzles have been awful or anything. This one, though, is just tedium incarnate. There. That's the last of them. So now we'll evolve, right? Yeah. Must get every speck of dirt. Uh, is there any possible reason why I would want to save that? No, it just seems like it's there to be there. I just screw myself. Yes, I did. I get the feeling I'm supposed to make use of that spider in some way. No, this isn't going to work. I think that spider is the dynamite one. So bad, Boulder Dash. Let's see what happens if I free the spider, I guess. Let's not crush it. Okay, yes, it'll follow the path. And now I can go crush it, right? What? I'm not entirely sure that thing's movement pattern because I figured it would just go to the left. I I somehow died while a tile above it though. Okay. Yeah, thing's just following the wall. Why did it kill me? Okay. I feel like I'm supposed to do this, I guess. Okay. Um, this level's going to... This game's going to be over fairly soon, I think. Also, the music just died. Mm. This seems like it would be okay if I wasn't 
entirely really awful at boulder dash puzzles. Oh, wh why die? Okay, I think I see what I need to do. Basically what I was trying to do on the left, but ex but for the right, because there's way more space. I think? Let's see, I'm also going to grab this now. Uh, I guess that's the kind of danger of having that thing there. Oh my god, I did the exact same thing. I want to get rid of that one dirt tile. Let's get rid of that one dirt tile right now so that never bothers us again. It's gone now. Good. The thing is, I don't know if I can really get to that green gem after I start doing this middle bit. So I'm just gonna kill the spider. It might be that the spider is just there purely as a hazard. I wonder if I could have gone the... I am missing something super basic about this level because this is one of the easy levels still. Let's kill you. Like, I don't think I can actually drop a rock on it because apparently just being next to an enemy, even if it's not moving into your tile, is enough to die to it. I just need to clear out all the dirt. I feel like that's not the solution either. But let's try it. Uh, this is my last attempt at this puzzle before I move on, because watching someone be bad at puzzles. Um. Get the gems reachable and dig up? What do you mean, like straight up? I feel if I do that, I'm just going to get crushed though, aren't I? Oh, well, maybe not. Let's see. What happens if I dig straight up? Oh, I guess that you can do that. I. I guess boulders won't crush you if you're right under them. It's only until you start move like if I go right under this one it won't crush me. Okay. So I guess the solution was way easier than I thought it was. That explains why it's an easy puzzle. Kinda wish choice could move a little bit faster, maybe. Yep, that was it. Oh, we have slimes now. now. Do I actually need the boulders for anything other than killing the slimes? I don't think so. Yeah, I assume slimes stay on the ground. Uh, or... Do all enemies just follow the walls? Yeah, I guess they all just follow the walls. If I do that, it's pretty much going to be out of my way for the rest of the game. Oh, I didn't notice that. No, that gem over there can't be anything unless these explode. Yeah, 
Okay. Hmm. I have a whole bunch of boulders to put into sockets, I guess. In fact, going to take the... Now, if I take the middle boulder, the other ones will follow it, won't they? Or, no? Like, see, this is where boulder dash confuses me, because there's nothing to the side of them, so I thought they would move to fill in the gap. Oh. Wait, let's see. Do I need to get rid of this? No. Like, presumably I can just do this, right? Well, boulders only roll off of other boulders and gems. The rule that the tutorial never actually really mentioned. Didn't quite do that right. I'll just go for those two last. a bat. And here's a gem. What is the point of that gem? And so... Mm. Unless I was supposed to use that gem for some reason. Wait, can't I just... Can't I just do this? I can just do this. Oh, the bat itself also has a gem, right? Well, okay. I feel like there was supposed to be more to that puzzle. <laughs> Where even am I? Oh, there I am. Let's see, I want to clear this so that the slimes take the longest route possible, I guess. I also guess I want to do this slime first. Uh, I guess it went upward. I fall for just not going completely away from it. Now let's see how this works out. Okay. Now it's all going to loop around. Oh no, I guess being next to an enemy doesn't necessarily kill you. But I feel like sometimes they weren't touching me and I still died. Hmm. Either way, this might be the last puzzle for the night because I'm pretty tired. Let's grab this first, I guess. Oh, right, I can't push that because there's sand in the way and whatnot. There we go. Okay, that's the first half done. I guess I'll quick save.
And good thing I quick saved because I just screwed myself. So now that was all over there. Okay. So that's the last puzzle I'm going to be doing for tonight, because I think that that's been about half an hour. Let's see, I've been live for like 2 minutes 30, so probably. Um, I do want to at least... Man, I actually got through a decent amount of the very easy levels. Let's see if I can go to the hard levels, like if it'll just let me... Did it go from medium to... No, okay. I thought it went like hard, medium, hard for some reason. Let's just see what, like, the super hard levels are like. How about the very last level of the game? Huh. Yeah, that looks pretty involved. I kind of don't like that the tutorials introduce you to literally every single thing the game has to offer. Like, right off the bat, because then that kind of ruins the element of surprise for the later levels. That is a lot of levels. So yeah, like, aesthetically I think this game does not look great, but if you're a big fan of Boulder Dash, then, man, I am not doing this. Um, if you're a big fan of Boulder Dash, then it seems like it's Boulder Dash. It is very, very Boulder Dash. So yeah, kind of what said on the cover. And it didn't lie. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's enough for that puzzle. So that's Diamond Choice and the Secret of Crystal Cave. It's Boulder Dash. Um, so for tonight, that was Applejack 1 and 2, Ghost Lords, Wells, and Diamond Choice. If I had to order them, I'd say Ghost Lords was my favorite. Applejack was a fairly close second. They're very different games. Um, Diamond Joyce is kind of a distant third, and then Wells is just way, way, way down. It kind of like at the bottom of a well, for example. Um, but yeah, so I'd say Applejack and Ghost Lords are absolutely worth buying. Um, Diamond Joyce seems pretty good. If you like Boulder Dash, I'm kind of lukewarm on Boulder Dash myself, so I need to be in the mood for it because I'm bad at it. Um, and then Wells, you should probably just avoid. Um, yep, that's it for tonight. I want to do a lot more of these while the summer sale is still going on. That way maybe people can see games on here that they like and buy while they're still super cheap. But for tonight, that's it, and thanks for watching.